Before we transform into this crazy film that's out in theaters right now, please do us a favor. Hit that subscribe button right at the bottom. Transformers Rise of the Beast <laughs> is out right now in theaters. Stars Anthony Ramos, 93,000? 93,000? 96,000. Damn, 96,000. That's right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it stars Anthony Ramos, uh, Dominique Fishback, and the Transformers people in there. Uh, uh, the animal Transformer people. <laughs> and they, they, they were called. Damn, um, damn what was her? I'm <laughs> Beast, <laughs> but I don't think I can no, say that on YouTube. Down. Maximals. The Maximals. So we got the Maximals in this film and they are teaming up with the Autobots. Scourge is here to prepare the Earth so that Unicron can eat it because Unicron is a huge planet sized transformer. Apparently he was introduced in the last night. I ain't watched that thing, so okay. He's here to eat the Earth and to eat Cybertron. But they need this MacGuffin, <laughs> yes. okay? They need this MacGuffin to be able to get this done. In every Transformers film, there is a human character that has to go find a MacGuffin, hide the MacGuffin, so the Transformers can beat the bad guys. We are here looking for the Allspark, and we must find it before Megatron. Mega what? If it's not clear, I was never a big Transformers fan. I think it just, I liked the toys when I was growing up, but I never really yeah. watched the cartoon or anything. I think I was, I think it, it missed me. I think I was like a little too young and I didn't have like older brothers or anything like that. So I never really got into Transformers. By the time I was into that kind of stuff, I was more into like Power Rangers. Transformers just went right past me. So sorry, yeah. although I did watch Beast Wars. That I did watch because it was 3D and I thought it looked cool. And it came on like right after Johnny Quest and all that stuff, which was also 3D. So I thought that was cool. Oh, pfft. Don't even get me started <laughs> on Johnny Quest. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. I can't wait till they make something like that. They might be a little racist, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're going to have to tone it down a little bit. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do about a sidekick now. I don't know about I don't that. know. They got to do something about Haji, man. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I wasn't really too much of a fan of Transformers, uh, the cartoon. It kind of reignited my interest for uh, Transformers mm. when the Michael Bay films came out and then they start getting worse, oh. and worse and worse and worse and worse. I did play the toys, so I recognize the toys a lot. Like I had the Rat Trap toy who was not in this movie. Like what the heck? He was like the coolest one. I was not in the movie. So what? Uh, this your first day in the job or what? Shut up, Rat Trap. Oh, yes, sir. So I got I got some I got like some passing familiarity with the Beast Wars guys. So Primal in this film, he is tasked with hiding this one big old gym that's going to uh, make Unicron come and the key, uh, the key. open up the portal. The key, you know? <laughs> and uh, fast forward to 1994. Of course, this movie got the hip hop in it. I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm vibing with the hip hop. And then we see um, Anthony Ramos' character here, ex-army guy. He's just trying to get a new job and stuff after being uh, discharged from the army. He tried to steal a car, and one of the cars, of course, is a Transformer. Blah, 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 blah. The story is so deeply unimportant, but I think what is important, or at least what the movie's trying to tell me is important, is the relationship between our main character, Noah, and the car he steals named Raj, voiced very annoyingly by Pete Davidson. <laughs> I thought it was and annoying. So I thought Pete Davidson, I don't, I don't I've got no hate for Pete Davidson. I, you know, I, I've never really put much thought on him. You know, he's been, he was in SNL and I know he's run through a bunch of celebrities, but I never really put a lot of thought in him. But th th this is the most I've ever thought about Pete Davidson in a movie, probably because this is the most prominent role I've ever seen him in a movie before. I found him to be grating. And so I think, I think the movie really wants you to like him. And not just that, I think the movie really wants you to like him and Noah together. And I didn't even realize that this was, that's what the movie was trying to do until really, really late. Because their relationship between our main character Noah and the car Mirage uh, becomes vital at the end where yeah. where uh, Mirage, like, more or less, spoilers, I guess light spoilers? I don't know. Can you spoil these movies? It's, 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 it's spoilers. Know. It's sure, spoilers. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, where, where Mirage, like, sacrifices himself for Noah. And I'm like, why the F would he do that? And I'm like, oh, 
were they supposed to be friends? <laughs> I did that, that shit went like right over my head. I was like, all right, I see they're cool. They're hanging out together. But they, they're like, they're like, die for you, friends? Like, I, I was like, oh, okay. Devin's like, I wouldn't even die for Tyrone. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I've known you for 20 years. I think about it. You know what I'm saying? I think about it. <laughs> Let me get this out of the way. The movie's fine. It's not bad. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna make fun of it for a second here. So we're supposed to understand that the Transformers are living beings, right? They're yeah. aliens from another planet. Yes, but they at are. the end of the film, Noah wears Mirage. He like gets inside his corpse and like walks <laughs> around him. He wears them like Iron Man. Those are, I was those like, are well, exosuits, like, wait a minute man. Now. Oh, no, no. Those, <laughs> apparently that is canon. Blast it, son! I don't have a gun! Use your exosuit! Just because it's canon, don't make it not stupid. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like this is kind of silly. And he Flame looked, he him in like, the comments, like everyone. Mega Man. <laughs> I was like, he I was like, like is Mega this Man. the Mega Man movie? What is what's going on here? The relationship between Mirage and Noah, it was kind of like abruptly fast for them to grow uh, how right. close they were. The grassroots of why I like this film, I really did like Anthony Ramos' character. Dominique Fishback's character, she was cool. Mm -hmm. um, I just felt like she was kind of like a partner. And and I, what the thing I did like about her role, I, I hate to say this, that, that uh, about the other Transformers films, when you have a female role in here, they got to make her the sex symbol. So listen, I was wondering if I could ride you home. I mean, uh, give you a ride home. But she was, you know, uh, dominant. She, she was smart. She, well, she was, she she was, was the smart was, one, All right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, she, uh, uh, Noah was the dumb brute, you know, he was the soldier. I just wished one major thing about this film. One major thing. The film is called Transformers Rise of the Beast. I didn't see any rising of the beast. Yeah, <laughs> clearly the title is just like, they they wrote that title before they wrote the movie. Cause the, the, <laughs> the beasts were already there. Like they'd been there for like, since like BC times or something like that. So like yeah. they, they weren't exactly, rising a lot of people in the comments and my reaction video were saying they need to leave humans out of this <laughs> leave hmm. humans out of this i want to see a full movie that's on cybertron i kind of agree and i kind of disagree because i want to see more time on cybertron if, if there's going to be another film uh, which i'm pretty sure there's going to be another film <laughs> but if they have compelling human characters in this then I'm down down for humans being in there. Yeah, I know people have been talking about they want an all Transformers, Transformer movie. Uh, but you know, it, that will just be an animated film, right? Because the the uh, they're already CGI That's what it animated. Sounds like to me. Yeah, so it'll just be like an animated film. I mean, I I still don't, I don't see any reason why they couldn't you know do that. I don't think though the weakest parts of these movies have been Shia LaBeouf or Anthony Ramos or uh, Haley Stanfield. Um, I think the the worst parts of these films have just been like the script, right? So like, if you want to change anything, you know, maybe have our Transformers become like real characters. With uh, Noah Diaz, I felt his, his, his distrust to everything around that. Cause he's like, yo, I'm not gonna let, you know, these, these creatures, whatever here, ruin our planet when they had a chance to save their planet and he don't even know how, to, he feels that he only, uh, that, that um, Optimus Prime doesn't even know how to be a leader. Optimus has a little bit of a character arc here where we see mm. in the original Transformers, Optimus was very quick to trust Sam Witwicky. Uh, mm. But in this one, which happened but years before that, he doesn't trust any humans at all. And he, right. and through his interactions with Noah, he learns that humans aren't so bad and they can be trusted. And yeah, he's got a little bit of an arc here. The movie is like, totally serviceable you know what i mean it's it's, yeah, it's, it's not a bad movie it's it's fine i think the transformers series has finally learned some lessons from the michael bay days of how to make the transformers look good they look closer to the cartoon now they're they look closer to like their g1 versions and instead of them, yes. them, them just looking like piles of trash they actually look like <laughs> you know robots so that's cool <laughs> So you know, like I, I, I feel like I feel like they're they're they're, they're learning a couple things. Let's crack a little bitches. My first lieutenant. Designation Jazz. And by the way, there's a lot of action for this film. So I think maybe if you're like if you're like 12 or 13, I think this movie might blow your freaking mind. Um, but yeah. for me, I was a little I was a little bored. I was, you know, I, I, it wasn't it wasn't bad. I was just you know I was just ready to to move on at certain points. 
but as far as Transformer fi Transformer films go, I haven't seen them all. I I've seen the first three with, my with Michael Bay, and then I saw Bumblebee, and then I, I missed like two in there somewhere. There's like seven of these movies. Uh, but of all the ones that I've seen, uh, I, I actually think this probably is the one that I've enjoyed the most since the very first Transformer. So, you know, I, hey, am, kudos. I am right there with you, man. I think this, this film, I enjoyed this film just as much as I enjoyed the first Transformers, which is good. But this one is like, okay, so this is fair, more better than Bumblebee, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Better than Bumblebee, but uh, not better than the very first uh, Transformers film. Yeah, and, th and this time that they brought the same director who did uh, Creed 2 to do this, yes. which I think Creed 2 is a little underrated. I, I, think it's, I, think it's, I think it's better than people give it credit for. So I think this director knows what he's doing. I think the movie looks pretty good. Uh, I, I liked our main character. I liked that our main character wasn't just some white dude, you know. That's <laughs> I, I appreciate that. You it was know, a, it was surprising, man. You got two ethnic people in here, yeah, man. Or two two, two non-white people. They're not actually ethnic. White people. It, that's an ethnicity too. I like that they were in Peru, and so it had the movie had, felt like it had a little bit of a flavor to it instead of like being in some, you know white suburb like Sam Witwicky was. So, you know, hey, these kind of things I'm into. Let's talk about the uh, the end credit scene here. Oh, yeah. So, some Didn't people... Give a shit. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> some, some people were coming up, uh, was coming up to me and they were saying like, well, it's got to be the most dumbest thing that they ever did. Hmm. And I'm like, really? Is it? <laughs> it's, hmm. it's something I could probably see from a mile away. Uh, so basically, I'm gonna spoil it for you. Spoilers right here. Put another spoiler alert thing down there for me, Devin, please. Mm -hmm. At the end of this, they basically save the world with the Mega Man suit and everything. You know, a Unicron doesn't come up in there. You know, wreck they shit. <laughs> yeah, <he laughs> so, so now Noah Diaz is trying to get that job. You know what I'm saying? At, at, a, at a security place, and uh, he goes to this place, goes to his room, talks to this guy. And he's like. Uh, we want you to be a part of this uh, this special program where we deal with uh, extra extraterrestrial activities and stuff like that. And he's like, what? He hands him a card, flips the card over, and it says G.I. Joe. So they're going to be teaming up with a G.I. Joe. I actually don't think that's far-fetched. That's something that you will probably see on a Sunday morning cartoon or even in the comic books. Or yeah, they totally be. teamed up before. Yeah, exactly. Now, here's the issue. Is it really needed? And when I say is it really needed, I'm looking from a production point of view. I'm looking from a studio point of view. You've had bombs, G.I. Joe. <laughs> You're giving people in this in this film something to look forward to, but you haven't made anything of value with that property yet. I'll be honest, when I saw that, when I saw the G.I. Joe thing, I was like, oh, okay. They're gonna start a G.I. Joe series, all right. And then I got home and I looked it up and I'm like, oh, there's like, <laughs> there's been like three movies. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, like guys. That already exists? I was like, oh, that that was the lamest little tease then. Because, I, like you said, I looked it up and yeah, these movies bombed. Like they weren't very good, apparently. I can't even imagine the scenario where they would want to combine Transformers with G.I. Joe, since G.I. Joe doesn't seem to be very profitable anyway. But just like Black Adam meeting up with Superman. I'm like, yeah, that shit ain't never gonna happen. <laughs> so, so great, G.I. Joe Transformers. Can't wait. But if it happens, you know, I we'll most it. likely be watching it. <laughs> Look, he, he said. No, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, 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 no. Hell no! <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Cable Jr. did a good job uh, directing this film. Anthony Ramos is the shining star to me when it comes to his acting because he comes from musicals. That's what I saw him as. <laughs> Little mm -hmm. ass to ass, you know, from uh, In the Heights. Yeah, Great job. Hamilton Dom and all that stuff, of course. All that. Dominique Fishback, she has, she's a rising star in this, in this thing. She already did a show called Swarm with uh, Childish Gambino. The story... You seen it? <laughs> the story you seen it? Get the MacGuffin, get it, get it away from the bad guys, or the bad guys come and take over the Earth. Seen it already. I'm gonna have to give this film a C plus. Yeah, I'm giving this one a even C. 
I think this movie was serviceable. It was fine. It was better than I was expecting. I went back and watched Bumblebee just so I could understand. I know people love Bumblebee, but I didn't, I wouldn't really film that movie. I thought this would be a continuance of that. And I could tell they learned some lessons from Bumblebee, but this wasn't exactly like that. I thought this was an improvement. So I think this is probably the best Transformers since Transformers 1. I was a little bit annoyed by uh, Pete Davidson's character, and I, and I was really <laughs> confused when our main character was walking around in Pete Davidson's corpse. But hey, <laughs> if, if that's what people like to see, then hey, get the people what they want, I guess. But ultimately, this is just a plastic key summary film. Uh, just like the last plastic key summary film I said, give me a day, I shall forget this film ever existed, and it'll mesh with all the other Transformer films. Uh, and honestly, that's probably a compliment because tran the Transformers films have been on the downturn and this one is like totally serviceable would you recommend this for people to see in the theaters man i would not recommend this for any of my friends but if but for the general public sure you know you got you know people seem to love these transformers films and i think this one's totally serviceable so sure go ahead and check it out if you're even vaguely remotely almost kind of sort of interested in transformers you'll like it it's it's fine Okay, I recommend this be a watch in the theaters or a watch on streaming. Uh, but keyword a watch. <laughs> okay, it's like it doesn't have that much replay value, and there's just like it, not a lot of plot, like you said before, not like a lot of story. So this is probably that you haven't seen before. <laughs> yeah, so this is probably a good movie to play, you know, with your friends around, so you got some whole conversation because you won't yeah. miss anything. But more importantly, do you recommend this film? Have you seen Transformers Rise of the Beast? Please let us know in the comments down below. Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Hey, thank you so much for clicking on this video. We are on our way to a thousand subscribers. We are pad we're almost close to the, the halfway mark. So if you're new and you like seeing us and you like talking about movies. Hit that subscribe button right at the bottom. All right. And if you did like this rating and review for this film, please hit that thumbs up or you can hit that thumbs down. Whichever you choose is your opinion. But just remember one thing. It's mostly wrong. I don't know how to do his voice. <laughs> Man, you're not Peter Collins. <laughs> I'm not, no. <laughs> Have a good one.